భారత్ సింగపూర్ దేశాల మధ్య నావికాదళ సంయుక్త విన్యాసాల అవగాహన ఒప్పందం ఇరవై ఐదేళ్లు పూర్తయిన సందర్భంగా సింబెక్స్ వేడుకలు ఘనంగా జరిగాయి ఈ సందర్భంగా ఇరు దేశాల రక్షణ శాఖ మంత్రులు విశాఖలో సమావేశమయ్యారు సింగపూర్ భారతదేశాల రక్షణ శాఖకు సంబంధించి ఒప్పందం మూడేళ్లు గడిచిన సందర్భంగా విశాఖలో ఇరు దేశాల రక్షణ శాఖ మంత్రులు సమావేశమయ్యారు అనంతరం మీడియాతో మాట్లాడుతూ భారత్ సింగపూర్ దేశాల మధ్య ద్వైపాక్షిక సంబంధాలు బలపడే విధంగా ఇరు దేశాల మధ్య సహాయ సహకారాలు కొనసాగుతున్నాయని కేంద్ర రక్షణ శాఖ మంత్రి నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ తెలియజేశారు భారత్ సింగపూర్ దేశాల మధ్య ఆర్మీ కలిసి పనిచేయాలనే ఒప్పందం జరిగిందని మంత్రి నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ తెలిపారు ఇరు దేశాల ఆర్మీ కలిసి పనిచేయాలనే నూతన ఒప్పందం జరిగిందని తెలిపారు ముఖ్యంగా అందుబాటులో ఉన్న సాంకేతిక పరిజ్ఞానంతో తీర ప్రాంతాల్లో భద్రతా చర్యలను పటిష్టం చేసేందుకు దోహదపడుతుందని చెప్పారు భవిష్యత్తులో ఇరు దేశాలు కలిసి పనిచేసేందుకు సిద్ధంగా ఉన్నాయని తెలిపారు between india and singapore has grown significantly in recent years and emerged as a key pillar of our partnership our defense dialogue is strong and intensive encompassing the annual secretary level dialogue defense policy dialogue the defense working group staff talks joint exercises between all three services and training exchanges we have identified areas for cooperation between our research and development establishments and also for defense industry cooperation ladies and gentlemen as part of the bilateral engagements today we have commemorated the 25th anniversary of the india singapore maritime bilateral exercise simbex this exercise which commenced in 1994 is one of the oldest uninterrupted bilateral naval exercise india has with any other country which is a statement and a testament of the long standing ties between our armed forces i would like to convey my compliments to all the personnel from both sides who have worked tirelessly to make this milestone event a success we have also renewed today the bilateral agreement for the conduct of joint army training and exercises in india this agreement gives out an exhaustive framework for the conduct of joint training as well as exercises for the singapore armed forces in india and will further strengthen the cooperation between our armed forces india is committed to continued support for the singapore armed forces training in india we also discussed use of india's firing ranges by the singapore armed forces for their specialist weapons firing the progress in defense technology cooperation under the auspices of india singapore defense technology steering committee and the india singapore defense industry working group agencies in both our militaries will step up information and intelligence sharing whether it's for maritime security humanitarian assistance disaster relief uh, terrorism threats uh, we are geographically uh, separated but connected by transboundary issues and connected geographically by very critical sea lines of communication in uh, the waters that we talked about so this is one uh, aspect in the joint statement which we thought we would underscore and that we would step up information and intelligence sharing no lambar man staff and indian ministry of defense for hosting this visit uh, for myself and my delegation including my chief of navy uh, we had very productive visits to the andaman and nicobar and port blair in particular uh, as the uh, minister has said we conducted the 25th uh, bilateral exercise between our navy and the indian navy uh, and the longest uninterrupted exercise for, for india uh, just this afternoon this is morning we witnessed a very successful live firing that was conducted happy to report that uh, our investments uh, in our 
capabilities uh, have borne fruit and uh, uh, missiles hit the targets that they were supposed to. And that's always comfort to defense ministers. But it's also a testament to the trust, uh, the professionalism, the 25 years of exercises have 